when girl groups break up and then you move on with your life and you still have that desire, that try in us to try to succeed, that's what the show is. Hey, how you doing? My name is Misha. I'm Irish and I am a member of the infamous girl group 702. I used to sing all the time myself and my mom wanted my sisters to join in and form a group. And so we started just like that. My mother was afraid of the neighborhood that we lived in. And so she kept me and my sisters in the house. Basically singing in our backyard, in the living room, and eventually it became shows. We started performing all around Las Vegas for D.A.R.E. programs at Thomas and Mack Center and any shows we could do out in Las Vegas. So we met Michael Bivens at the Jack the Rapper Music Convention around 91, somewhere in there. When we saw Michael Bivens, he was actually in a rush with Bobby Brown. He said, all right, let me see what y'all got. And we started singing, you know, singing our little butts off, had our steps down packed. <laughs> and Misha again, she started singing Michael Bivens' name. Once we sung for him, he called us like literally the next day and we were assigned within a week. Mike was calling us in Las Vegas and he dialed our area code. And we were up until that point called Sweeter Than Sugar. And he knew we would grow up and like that would be corny. So when he dialed the number, he said, I got it. Y'all are 702. Y'all the Vegas girls, the 702 girls. So that's where that name came about. Ladies and gentlemen, Subway and 702. I do remember the first time I performed on Soul Train. It was with Subway and uh, it was eight of us on this small little stage. And I don't know how we did it, but we made it work. Some of us liked some of the boys in Subway, you know, and it was four of them, four of us. So we were booed up. We got yelled at by Michael Bivens. Like, we need to keep y'all separate. Y'all stay on one side of the hotel. They stay on the other side of the hotel. This is business. Don Cornelius, man, meeting him was an experience. He was very gentle, a gentle giant. He pretty much loved on us while we were there, and that was special. I think that we had kind of a hard demeanor because our songs were so felt. They weren't hard, but they were street songs that people wouldn't be embarrassed listening to. Like, we weren't singing about lollipops. The way we dressed was to fit that what we were singing about. Maybe we need to go back to what was creative in the past, and sometimes everything that's new new ain't always good good. If you take away management, if you take away the record label and put us all in home, can we do it again? A bunch of females trying to get along and you know how that goes. <laughs> and women are something else. When everybody's trying to take the front. Some people in the house made it all about cattiness and being, you know, bitches. Go up.